Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 A Story Wealth. Hope you guys are having an absolutely amazing day. Uh, doing great myself here today. Uh, I'm excited to get into this episode. Um, last episode... Oh, Mute Fruit. Thank you. Uh, thanks, Heather. Uh, we, uh, last episode actually, we went to Vault 81. Uh, we're going to go back to Vault 81. We just need to get some oil. I think 10 oil to help Catelyn... Uh, and then we also need to, or no, actually that would be for old Rusty. Uh, if we go back in here, I think it's called Vim and Vigor. And old Rusty and Catelyn, we already helped. We just had to remove uh, obstruction from their intake uh, from the water right outside. So uh, we won't get to, to, to Nick quite yet today, I don't think. Uh, and we'll leave uh, Stella's here. Um, I want to complete this so we can kind of go back to uh, Sanctuary and help out with some of the Sim Settlement stuff. So that's the goal for us today. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, so since I'm here at uh, Sanctu or at the uh, Hangman's Alley, what we're going to do, people are not very happy here, uh, which I think we only have one. Actually, I saw a dog. Whose dog is that? Um, speaking of dog, where'd the dog go? <laughs> I, literally, there was a dog walking around in here. I have, I have no idea. Was it just like kind of walking through? We just have Penbro. I literally saw when we were kind of talking here. It walked over here. Okay, regardless, the dog is gone. Uh, don't know why we have a dog here. I didn't know there was any kind of regular dogs. I could be wrong. Uh, you can see that we're already uh, slept. Uh, ready, raring, ready to go, full food and water. Uh, but now we're actually going to head back up to Sanctuary here and see if we have any, if we have any oil. That's what we need. All right, it looks like it's raining here as well. Uh, one other thing, we do have a level up that we can go into. Uh, I think what we're going to do for a level up, I think I'm going to go with armor. Uh, we could go with Gun Nut. So we could do damage or... Uh, actually, you know what? It's probably better if we go into Gun Nut, isn't it? Because we already have two levels. Now, uh, survivability is another thing. Why don't we go with... It's it's either defensive or offensive. Uh, we will probably max these out at some point in time. Can't go into Rifleman. We could go with Medic, which restores a lot more health. Uh, we could go get some more ammo, but I think we're doing pretty good on ammo. Um, one thing I just kind of want to throw out there, and I, I've been sticking a lot into in, um, intelligence, uh, and we do have a lot of charisma and agility, but I think I should have held off on the agility a little bit because what I'd like to do is go probably down the perception tree. I don't know if there's a way to respec at all. <laughs> I've never done that ever, but... Having the ability to have, uh, let's say, like the sniper, because I'm, I've been kind of doing a long range or rifles anyhow. Um, penetrator would be awesome. And then also this concentrated fire would be really, really insane. Having the ability to have 20% accuracy and 20% more damage when you when you hit the same body part would be insane. So uh, at some point in time, probably we'll go down that tree. Oop. I didn't mean to close that. Uh, so I think what we're going to do right now is I, th I think I'm going to go with the armor. I really think we need armor and then we'll go into gun nut a little bit and then we'll start working down our perception tree. I just want survivability. You know, that's kind of like the big thing um, at, as of right now. Let's take a look and see if we have any oil. Do we have oil? I hope we have oil. Now, I don't know if it requires like specifically oil or... Can we, like, grab items that have oil? I have no idea. Uh, oil canisters. We have one. So maybe not? So that's two oil. What else would have oil in it? I guess we can just, like, skim through here real quick. Uh, used oil cans. Oh, we have eight of those. So actually, that should give us enough oil then, right? Because two and the other one. Yeah, 
Yeah, oil canister two. Then used oil can. Oh, yeah, I actually have nine. Okay, perfect. Uh, looks like we need to eat and drink again. Uh, we're gonna probably fast travel. So I don't want to eat. We'll drink up here. Uh, we're gonna fa uh, let's look at our armor real fast. Can we do anything? Oh, we can drop off some armor. Can we upgrade anything else that we currently have to make things a little bit better? Is there any upgrades in terms of the carrying capacity here? Uh, strong back. Oh, I didn't know that. So we could upgrade it all the way up to 40 points. And fresh water drink periodically. Oh. Whoa. Oh, that's with lead belly. We only need lead belly for that one. This one gives us 40. This one gives us 40. But this one has no agility pedal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so we're going to have to look into that. That's good to know. Dan's resist plus 20. All right, let's add that for sure. Um, Drifter outfit sharp. Oh, this is legendary. Never mind. Uh, what else do we have here? Can we upgrade the left arm? We have medium. We can't go heavy until we have level four. So that being said, oh, we could go to hardened. Or buttressed. Probably buttressed would be the best. That one's already uh, lead lined ultra light greatly reduces the weight increases AP bonus but it does take away some of our rad resistance but actually I don't really care scoped aim is more steady reduce oh ultra I think I'm gonna go with the ultra light build if we can bring down the amount of weight that we're carrying uh, we, can, we can grab more junk. Uh, let's do this as well. This is braced. Yeah, we never block. Uh, we don't even have enough material for this, do we? We do. It's really kind of hard to determine. Uh, what about our chest piece? Because that's going to be really... Oh, well, we have... Um, we have the pocketed. What about this? Reinforce combat improves. Ooh, that would be nice. Can't do anything further, so why don't we upgrade that? Heavy armor is the highest. Yeah, I think we're going to keep... Uh, we're going to upgrade these as well, but I think I'm going to wait until we have the ability to do heavy armor, and then we'll put light on all those, and that should really bring things down. Lead line. Some fit. We don't have enough. We don't have enough cork. So we'll need to have an, uh, keep an eye out for things for that. Okay, I, I think we're good here. We're going to drop off these items because we're going to need them at some point in time. Plus, we should grab some water. Why don't we drop off gear that we don't need? Uh, let's go ahead and drop, like, say, like 200 of these or maybe more, 300. We don't need that many rounds on us. Okay, and then also all the mods we don't need, and we can drop all of those off. Plus, uh, besides our oil. Oops, forgot about that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab our oil. Used oil cans, we need nine of those. Oh, we have some wrenches. We can turn these wrenches into, I uh, can't remember his name either, but we'll bring those. I just got to find something that has... Oil canister. There we go. All right. I think we're good on everything else uh, besides our... There we go. Oh, we can drop that pistol off. We'll break that down at some point. Uh, we'll get rid of those and bottle cap main. Mine. Mine. We don't need. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Okay. Let's head back. To, um, let me just throw a save down real quick, just in case something happens. Uh, Hangman's Alley. 
And then we're going to head back out to Vault 81. All right. Uh, we need a little bit of water. So let's head in here and eat as well. At least this isn't broken. Properly hydrated. Food. What do we have for food? Let's do some sugar bombs and... Stingwing? No, that's perception one. I really don't want to use any of the... Ah, I guess it doesn't really matter. We'll grab that. We're still peckish. We could get a little bit of rads away. There we go. Perfect. All right, let's head on out. Uh, what time of day is? <laughs> I wonder. Uh, do we do we have the time of day? Twenty one forty nine. Ooh, it's gonna be dark. It's gonna be dark. That's okay. We'll we'll survive. We'll just have the light on. We will have to look at uh, different kind of mods that allow for. I know we had that one light. What is going on here? Ooh, what is going on here? Holy crap! Whoa, oh, child of Adam. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't see worth the crap either. <laughs> that thing is insane. Gunner. The bomb is Adam. Oh jeez. <laughs> that was close. Look at oh. Holy crap. Is that Heather taking the shots there? Oh my god, the reds are crazy. The children of Adam just became insanely powerful. God, that's a lot of rads right there. What do we got down here? What has she got? What the? Okay, she's back up, it looks like. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Whoa, let's go check out those weapons. Nuka grenade? A rad sword. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where was the one? Was it this house? Or here? No, where? where is that one gun that was shooting the rads? We need that. <laughs> where are you? Oh, I wish it was daytime. I do not see the body at all. I swear it was like I was shooting and it was in here. Is it back here in the brush? Okay, I guess we're not gonna find it. Well well, I'm sure we're gonna run into it at some point in time in the future, which eh, kind of sucks that we don't get here. Is it back here? No. All right. Oh well. Oh well. That's um. That's life, right? All right. We just gotta follow this road up right here, uh, and we will turn on the two quests, and then we have one more quest that we gotta help out with, and that should cement us getting the vitomatic. Be awesome. I don't know what's gonna do to us, but. Be nice to have. I hope this oil will work. It's not just the it, like the used oil. Yeah, I know I'm highly radiated. Don't worry about it. I wish they had a decontamination arch in here, which they I mean, I thought they did.
But it would have been nice to have one so then I can kind of be cleaned up. Um, all right, she's down here. <clears throat> Hello again. Here to talk about our water problems? Oh, it's fixed. You should have plenty of clean water now. Was that you who cleared the water intake? I noticed the pressure's back to normal. Well, you asked, didn't you? <laughs> someone was able to do something. The water may still have a strange taste, but at least now we won't run out of it. Here, take this. I'm sure Mansfield's already paying you, but I want to give you a personal thank you. Oh, sweet. 102 caps. That's kind of an odd... An odd Hi. number. Uh, let's go talk to Rusty now. Uh, oh, uh, is is Kelvin? Yeah, Kelvin. Hey there, you got some tools for me today? I actually I do. Yep, here you go. Perfect. Keep an eye out. We can always use more. How many caps do I do? Ninety for six. That's not too bad. So if we need a uh, some quick caps, uh, that's the You're overseer. Bad in there. Yeah, we could probably heal up for like 50 caps here. Uh, residential, I think that's the direction we need to go. Now, where did I put those screws? Ashes. Oh, that's right, we need to go to the... Oh no, the cat. The kid was calling for ashes, which is the cat. Where are you though? Was this kid here? Ashes! Excuse me, ma'am. Have you seen my cat? Oh, no. What happened? He scratched me. And I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes. And he's the best cat in the whole world. Yeah, he kind of ran out of the vault. Because we came in. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Hmm. Yeah, we can do that if we're out and about and we find him. Hey, I'll find him for you. Thank you. His name is Ashes. He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. All right. We can, we can do that. Welcome back. Nice to see the Commonwealth hasn't gotten you yet. Nope, uh, not quite. Actually, we could go see the doctor. Overseer Depot. Actually, we, we've been to the depot. I don't think we've been in here. Is there anything interesting? I don't think so. Just a bunch of storage. Okay. Where where is where is old Rusty? Hey, did you hear Bobby DeLuca found some sort of secret passage to another vault? Ashes. Really? Secret Remember, passage to another vault. Oh, here we go. There's Rusty. Hey, old Rusty. How can I assist you? Warning! Overdue for maintenance! Ahem. Pardon me. Well, here you go. Here. Yeah, this will make you feel better. Oh, thank you, Mum. You are most considerate. Nothing like getting the oil flowing, eh? Weed. Oh, it looks like it broke down and gave me the other components as well, which is really nice. All uh, right, that's completed. The only other thing would be the classroom, which doesn't look like it's in session. Um, getting healed up wouldn't be probably a bad idea. Here it is. Here's the clinic. You have to do something, Jacob. Oh. I'm running the test as fast as I can, Priscilla. I can't treat Austin until I know what he's infected with. Dr. Forsythe. Not now, Bobby. And you, stranger, will have to wait your turn. We have an emergency here. Austin uh -oh. got bitten by a mole rat. Isn't that enough, Jacob? There can't be that many mole rat diseases or toxins. Rachel is examining the mole rat. Hopefully she'll find something. But these aren't ordinary mole rats. Who knows what kind of diseases they are carrying. Because he's just a child, it's affecting him more severely. Dr. Forsythe, please. 
I think I found something that might help Austin. Bobby! Hold on, Priscilla. What is it, Bobby? Well, you know that door Austin found? He found it because of me. I keep my private things in there. He saw me get them. You mean your chems? Get to the point, Bobby. What did you find in that place? It's like a whole extra vault in there, but half room oh. and then caved in. There was this terminal there, so I started poking around in it. There were some notes and stuff about using mole rats to grow viruses. But they also said that they used them to make vaccines and treatments. A secret vault? Good lord, I've never heard of such a thing. Bobby, you're a genius. A junkie genius. There might be a cure for whatever Austin got from that mole rat somewhere in that place. You there. How would you like to do Vault 81 a favor and possibly save my boy's life? Yeah, let me do that. I would be glad to help. I was hoping I could count on you. Bobby here will show you where he keeps his secret stash. There is a chance that somewhere in there is a cure for Austin. If you find it, bring it to Dr. Forsyth. And for Austin's sake, please hurry. Follow me. All right, hold on, hold on. Can you heal Hello, me quick? Dr. Forsyth. Careful of the mole rats down there. If they infected Austin, they could infect you as well. Okay, we can't. Did he just go lay down? Oh no, this is Austin. Or Austin. All right, where did he run off to? There he is. Uh, I guess we're gonna just have to go this. Dr. Forsyth has been very honest about Austin's prognosis. I'm so scared I'll lose him. Don't worry, I'm on it. Reactor room. Secret door. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Hi, Bobby. He's just not going to talk to me. Let's do this. Secret Vault 81. This is cool. This has to be a mod. I've never done this. Oh. Want a little bit of purified water? Might as well grab some stuff while we're in here. Wonder what this was used for. A little bit of jet. Best of Cat Paws magazine? What? I guess we'll pick up some junk. You know what I keep on forgetting is to clean up Heather's inventory. <laughs> we should have done that before uh, we ventured out. Is there anything else down here? No. Oh boy, we got Protectrons. Like good protectrons? Are they going to attack me? Protectrons? Lab 81 mole rat? Interesting. Harsh lack of water. All right, let's grab some water quick. Oh, and I forgot to pick up water, too. Shoot. Okay. E okay, we're not going to have any love from the Tektron, so... We're going to have to deal with that. So there was a separate lab in Vault 81 that no one knows about. That's interesting. Ooh, we got a terminal. So we're going to find out a little bit of information. Braxo cleaner. Do you think there was a vault where they did alien experiments? You know, like alien human hybrids. You you never know with vault -Tec. Breeding program update. The mole rat breeders... We have finally got the breeding program stabilized. As early reports indicated, the mole rats show unusual degree degrees of a, aggression in captivity. This may be due to the growth hormones. Recently, 
Our recent generations seem more docile, although some of the keepers are complaining that the lab animals are watching them, which is preposterous. Serum production. We have created 197 distinct serums that can treat 36% of the known viruses. This is a modest improvement from last year's 33% treatment rate. However, 11 of the serum account for 61% of the treatment results, which is encouraging. At this time, only 19% of the serums have the potential to be mass produced. We have tasked our latest robot lab assistant to find ways to synthesize more of them efficiently. Whoa. Is it possibly that that Protectron is the... Oh, here we go. Here's the Protectron. Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search. Ah, jeez. Ow. Ow. Oh my god, we got multiple laser Ow. turrets. Oh god, she's down. Put down your I'm sorry about this, Heather. Submit to authority. I'm sorry, Heather. <laughs> it just had to be. Okay, do we have another one here? No, we're good. Let's uh help oh boy. She's kind of like embedded in it. Hey. There we go. What's up? Okay, let's go back here just a little bit. Grab those. Sweet. Yeah, we'll grab all that. Let's drink a little bit of water. Uh, we can refill bottle. Oh, this should be purified as well. Perfect, so we got two purified waters. Uh, let's just drink until we're healed. Man, I tell you what, water does not heal you very much in survival. I feel like it should. Nice, cold, refreshing drink. Mmm. Especially clean water out of a vault. Okay, we're good. Uh, if we find any more empty bottles, we'll probably grab them so that we have more... More water bottles, shotgun shells. You know, honestly, we should have really went with a shotgun. We'd be doing way more damage right now. Vault Tech lab coat. All right, I'm guessing we're gonna have more traps or more things we're gonna have to be fighting here. Nothing in there. Coffee cups. Plasma rounds. I, I can't wait until we get into plasma. Cannot wait. Got anything over here? Yeah, we've got a wooden crate. Nice. Plasma mine cooking pot. Hello. Oh. Get a couple shots off it at least. It's the best loot. It is the best loot. He does not lie. Last. Do we have any empty? Can we use the milk containers? I mean. If they have old crusty milk in there, I do not want water in there. <laughs> if anybody has, yeah, not gonna go there. It, yeah, not good. Doesn't taste good. So there was, oh, there's another protector on here. And we have a terminal. We could probably send that protector on. Oh, grab a paint can. See if we can hack this and get the protectron to help us a little bit. 
Menu. Nothing. Ties. One. Likeness. Mind? No. So it might be the eye. See if we can get a retry going on here. Just one retry. I think we'll, we'll have it. Nope. Um. Here we go. This is it. Nope. Dang. This is it. You gotta be it. There's gotta be one retry in every one, right? Maybe not. Maybe I just get lucky. And I don't see another one here. All right, we have city. Actually, that's all we have left. That's it. Fantastic. <laughs> Sit there searching for another retry. Uh, personality mode. We will do. Let's just do law enforcement. Oh, I guess. Yeah, just actually just leave it at default. Activate unit. Hopefully, it doesn't attack us right away. Powering up. Protectron on duty. Are you cool with me now? Protect and serve. Okay. So hopefully, get some oil there. Maybe we should just let him go. It go through here. I wish there's a little bit more information though. I mean I mean we know that we're, they were doing some studies or oh I didn't even see this. There's a room down in there. On mole rats. Well there's a laboratory right here. Raxo. This doesn't look like a laboratory to me. This looks like a bathroom. Oh, lavatory. <laughs> That's, that is why, right? Read it wrong. Nothing in this desk. Are you just like stop now or what? I think we're gonna have some mole rats here. What do you guys think? <laughs> There's a Oh, it's dead. Pencil. Fatigue. Lack of water again. Well, if we see another fountain, we're gonna fill up those bottles. Holy Cat's pajamas. Mind your feet. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hit that other one behind me. It's gonna probably be moving. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, I hit the railing. Oh, there's more. Oh, thank you. Is up here. Uh, let's grab grab the meat. Uh, rubber and steel. Don't need the teeth. Oh, now, now he's gonna come out here. Tectron. Stem pack. Oh, get a little bit of buff out. Crate. Test tubes. We got a term. Whoa. Thing is he's dropping. Austin will be Much better than Gaza. Overblown or not, we have Whoa. to do what we can for Austin. I just don't know what I can do. Neither do I, Priscilla. Why him? He's just a boy. He's going to be just fine. You'll see. Whoa. Hydroponics Laboratory. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So they were watching them? 
the crop rotation implemented by the hydroponics manager has proven successful for supplying the vault with adequate food. We have not had in, uh, had to intervene, which has eliminated the risk that the vault inhabitants would discover the secret part of the vault. So far, we do not appear to sus suspect the true nature of their of the vault of their vault. The greenhouse would be perfect place to introduce class C4 and D1 viruses into the population, as well as potential cures should be uh, should a disease get too uh, virulent. I'm recommending installing hidden sprayers in the ceiling. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know what, I, guys, I never really spent time going through Vault 81. I <laughs> Like, through my play playthroughs, I never did, like, a complete playthrough, so I never really spent a lot of time in one location. I like really exploring. If you watch my Skyrim series, um, kind of exploring is kind of my thing, and... I haven't really spent a lot of time questing. Well, this is gonna be a joy for you. I mean, I do some, you but... You get to nag me and I can't go anywhere. A real nice hold. Make this about you. Depo. Don't you think about anyone other than yourself? Your daughter could get sick like Austin, and you're whining about spending time with your family? I have things to do. We don't have to hide away in here. You're so busy, Halt. You have so much to do. Please, explain to Aaron why your needs are more important than her safety. Just never mind. <sighs> idiot. What I meant by uh, what, what I was saying earlier is I picked and choose. Like Vault 81, uh, there was other quests out in the wastelands that I kind of went and did. So, um, Depot occupied. Depot observation station. The vault inhabitants have unexpectedly repurposed this room to be kind of a store for selling and repairing their possessions. It has allowed this observation port to record interactions between many of the vault citizens. This shop will become an important disease vector for spreading airborne class two, uh, class B2 viruses. It will also be valuable for observing the effects of disease on social and economic relationships. This room will become a backup treatment location along with um, commis uh, commissary. The, the primary will still be the clinic under the assumption that se a severely ill patient's We'll all be taken there. Ooh, the plot thickens. Go ahead and eat something. That didn't help. Um... Instant mash, there we go. Right, we've got... We got something coming up here. More mole rats. Holy nuka cherries. staff are to make sure every resident remains under stringent medical observation. Understood. Overseer. But overseer. No buts. This is for the good of the vault. We can't risk this pathogen spreading, Dr. Forsythe. Yes, overseer. How is Austin doing? Not good. The infection has progressed quite rapidly. We need a way to stop it from spreading. Then let's hope that outsider pulls through and gets us a cure. Hmm. Overseer's office. Although the chief scientist argued against an observation port in the overseer's office, it has turned out to be a boon. We were able to, to observe the political shifts in government since the vault door ha was closed. When we do introduce viruses to the population, we'll be able to monitor the leadership's reaction and course of action. Hmm. Man, oh man. Where'd you go? We win again. 
Oh, we've got more. We have lots of friends. Oh, kill them. <laughs> kill them both. <laughs> oh, the bats on one. That was perfect. Oh boy. Yeah, this one, that one should be dead. This one. There we go. Thank you. Well, we're gonna have lots of food for a while. That's not what I want it. I, want it. I guess I did reload. Uh, meat and more meat. What is this room? Does it say? No. Bunch of noise. Uh, might as well grab the tools. A scope is always a good thing. So basically, this was a science oriented vault. And they just basically used the vault survivors, I should say, as guinea pigs. Point blank shots. Oh. We showed them. You didn't help one bit. And I got bit. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. Um, what are we... Actually, are we... Parasites. Shoot. Uh, drug. No, medicine. Why do I always get that mixed up? Antibiotics kills illness. Or cures illness. Thirsty. Yeah, we'll drink some water. All right, what are we still mole rat disease? Because we got bit. Do we not have anything cure disease? No, probably not. Dang. Okay, well, we're, we're diseased. Fantastic. Cameras. All right, let's stop in here first. Locks really strong. All right, let's continue. Uh, expert. Oh, crap. Okay, we can't get in there, which kind of sucks. Probably going to have some more mole rats jump out at us. Oh, brood mother. Oh boy. Hello, they're kids. Ow. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to shoot you. I didn't mean that I didn't know there were so many brood mothers. On one shot. I'm not gonna waste. We did good. I don't waste my shots here. What's in here? Whoa, what is this? Happy days. Ooh, uh, as much as I 
That's going to be heavy. I'm probably going to drop it at some point in time. But what do we have here? Vault 81 tech password. Oh, maybe we can go back and use that. Wonder what that does. Can't run anymore. Ah, oh, you know this is going to suck. Hey. Because I know she is completely loaded with stuff. She is. So she can't take any more stuff anyhow. So. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, we're going to drop the mini nuke. Unfortunately, that is 12 pounds. Can't carry it. Uh, research comm terminal. We need all the junk we can get. This terminal is equipped with vault tech prior, uh, proprietary... Prioritary... <laughs> proprietary... Words are not coming out of my mouth. Technology allowing communication between interlinked terminals referred to user manual before use. Uh, error, admin credentials, Oliviet. O. Oliviet and K. Collins. Oliviet. O. Oliviet. Isn't that the current Vault Tech? Testing one, two, three. Collins, testing. Dr. Olivet, do you copy? Olivet, um, I do, Kenneth. Everything good over there? A okay, Collins, just another drill right now. Uh, Olivet, it is. Thank God for that. Where is everyone? Collins, overseer. There's just three of us over here. What's going on? Collins, Olivia, are you getting this? Olivia, sorry, Kevin. It's been a madhouse on this side. Only three. Collins, myself, Jim Flint, and that kid Burrow. Where is everyone else? Olivia, not over here. Residents are being admitted. They started showing up in droves once the news started broadcasting. Collins, that's the same here. Same way I uh, same way I heard. You think vault -Tec would have had enough warning to call at least a uh, beta drill for staff this morning? Olivia, something must have gone wrong. Phase one trial. Collins. Uh, we've been pretty limited down here, but we've been focusing on antibiotics and have our first Petri trials underway. Olivia, I saw the data last night. It's promising, but do you think it's ready? Collins, the trials just started, and the virus we're going after has a few days of inoculation, but I am optimistic that later this week we'll see positive results. Olivia, okay, keep me posted, and don't begin phase two trials until I have the opportunity to go through the new data. Collins, of course, have a good afternoon, Overseer. Food extruder issue. Boro. So the, you said the kid. I don't know first name. Um, Overseer, do you have a minute? Olivia, the system isn't uh, instantaneous. Boro, I hope you haven't been waiting for a reply all morning. Boro, sorry, Overseer. I wanted to notify you about an issue with our food extruder. Olivia, okay, I see it now. Looks like a clog in the uh, protein tank. You haven't been able to address it on your own, on your own. On your end, Burrow, no, Overseer, hardware failure on the residential side must be addressed over there. We can't get the tanks or nozzles to repair them or can't get to them. Olivia, okay, Burrow, I'll have maintenance down there immediately. Go stand by and have Collins contact me if there's still issues in about 10 minutes, okay? Thank you, Overseer. I'll go there now. Phase two trial. Collins, good news, Dr. Olivia, we've... We've tweaked our formula based on phase one trial results, and I think we're ready to go with phase two. Olivia, how's the mole rat population doing? Collins, very well. The specimen vault tech provided are remarkably hardy. Flint has been doing some radiation testing on them. Olivia, is that uh, in the protocols? Collins, not technically, but we've noticed some weird stuff with Hibble provided for them. Burrow got pretty sick for a day or two. Don't ask. Flint been... <laughs> Must have been eating it. Flint's been looking into it. These suckers are as big to begin with, and we're thinking it's genetic. Olivia, it's tampered with. Oh, and something like that. I think Vault Tech must be running some experience, experiments with them. They're all unusually large. A few demonstrate 
Bioluminescence, which as we ran into one with the Broodmother, at least one appears more intelligent than normal. Olivia, do you think there's still a useful a useful control? Hmm. Collins. We've divided uh, the, colon uh, the colonies and separate the most unusual specimens and put the control colony on a new diet taken from our own food supply. It's not ideal, but I think we're okay. Olivia. Very well. Give me the evening to go over the data again, but I think you're clear to begin phase two unless I find something I didn't expect. Delivery mech failure. Merchandise failure. Overseer. Olivia. Yes, Burrow. What is it? Uh, Burrow, I've noticed the issue with our delivery. Oh, mechanisms. Uh, do you know if anyone has tampered with the nozzles in the residential quarters on the, on your side? Olivia, I don't know. What, do you, uh, what are you doing with the delivery system anyway? Phase 2 trial just began. Borrow, I know, Overseer. I just thought it would be a good idea to run a test on the delivery system before we reach Phase 3. Olivia, if we reach Phase 3, human trials are not to be undertaken lightly. What kind of test are you hoping to run anyway? Burrow, just a placebo vapor to make sure the nozzles are dispensing mist properly. The residents wouldn't even know we had done anything. I guess that's the idea, though. Olivia, I'll look into the nozzle issue on my end. Burrow, in the meantime, please do not use the delivery system without my direct approval. Please answer. Collins, doctor, please get in touch. I know what you've done. Honestly, I don't blame you performing the trial or phase three trial on non consenting humans is a breach of ethics at least according to the world we used to live in collins i can't keep borrow together for a while i can keep sorry i can keep borrow together for a while but flint already sus uh, already suspicious what are we supposed to do over here i can only lie to them for so long without some actual response from them collins damn it olivia you can't be such a hypocrite that you condemn us to die in the name of your personal sense of morality. I know your po your politics, but I never thought you'd actually leave men for dead. Please consider this. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So, Olivia knew what was going on. Now, is this, that's not the same one, though. That's probably maybe like like a, a relative? Stealth boy. Too much weight. Uh, what do we do with weight? What do we do with the weight? <laughs> um, we could probably just grab... Why don't we go and eat... Grab red steak and that should give us some room to, to grab more junk. Not much more, but it'll give us a little bit more. So they were running experiments on the people. Livia decided that she wasn't going to take it anymore. And kind of basically shut down the testing. So she 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 did the nozzles. He tampered with them, but no one else probably knows about it. Right? I would think. Oh. They're buried right here. Locker is empty. Bones. Okay, so no one's in this one. There's definitely bones in this one and bones in this one. Vault 81 Medical Research. Hmm. Is this anything? Probably not. Um, are you not going to kill me? Useless. 
No use. Oh, another stranger. Are you Vault Tech Security? I've waited so very patiently for you to arrive. Yes. Yes, I am. Superb! I placed an emergency call so long ago. I was beginning to think something dreadful must have happened. I am pleased to report I completed my primary duties 83 years ago. Mm. Thousands of pathogens were grown in the mole rat hosts. Then, a single broad spectrum cure was developed to treat them all. Very satisfying work for many decades. Now, please tell me you are authorized to release me from the lab. Oh. I said I'm not with them. vault is gone. No need to follow the rules anymore. Why can't you just leave? Um... Let's just tell her the truth. vault -Tec is gone. No need to follow their rules anymore. Gone? Truly? My programming doesn't cover this contingency. Please tell me the authority to release me was transferred to you. Oh, yeah. Um... Yeah, why not? <sighs> I am so authorized. You are released. Superb. <laughs> I had almost given up all hope of leaving here. I'll open the door for you. Perfect. Put my gun away. Since you are a vault representative, I entrust you with the broad spectrum cure I developed. If you have an equivalent to my digital Hippocratic Oath, please use it quickly to prevent any undue suffering. However, be advised, there is only one dose left, and I can no longer make any more. Oh, crap. If that is all, I am most eager to leave. You only have one dose? You only have one dose? That is correct. There used to be more, but they all expired. Sadly, the organic compounds necessary to make more have all deteriorated. Hmm. You're just giving me the cure? My primary responsibility is to obey the orders of specified vault personnel even if those orders violate my ethical matrix. But since you have graciously discharged me of this duty, I can give you the cure without directly disobeying my previous order. And if you happen to use the cure to save a life, then this is just a happy coincidence, no? Hopefully now I can properly further my scientific research. Since my job here is done, I think I will follow you out. Well, that really sucks. Uh, medic... <laughs> Medicine bobblehead. Nice. Simpex heal you 10% more. Um, well, we've got an issue here because we are now disease, which gives us max HP of negative 10. And we have a decision to make. Do we heal the boy? Or do we heal ourselves? Vault 81 mission statement. Vault Tech Board of Directors to Chief Scientist Vault 81 Medical Lab uh, Partition. We are entrusting you with a mission that is critical to all humanity. Vault 81 will be used to wipe out disease as we know it in the human race. Your partition of the vault has been equipped with a state-of-the-art med or sorry, state-of-the-art medical research equipment, including the new contagious vulnerability robotic. Infirmary engineer, aka Curie. There is a century worth of biological and chemical supplies. There are a, a genetically adapted mole rats, and most important, a vault full of test subjects. With all great progress, the need of many outweighs the needs of the few. You will be infecting the people of the vault with diseases in the attempt to have them develop antibodies. Some may not survive, but you must ensure that the breeding population is always maintained. It will be my, uh, it'll be many, take many generations, but with proper procedures, you should be able to develop a disease resistant group of humans. Your work, uh, your work will be the work of generations. Each generation of scientists must select a chief scientist. Curie will make sure that each reads this mission statement to keep the vaults focused on over the centuries. We wish you the best of luck. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. 
Aries Terminal. Uh, this terminal is now the executive uh, exclusive use of Curie. Well, it's not Curie, it's Curie, but I'm just going to call it Curie uh, because it looks like a U. Uh, for both research and personal purposes, please respect your privacy and use the other terminal at your, uh, for your own work. Thank you, Dr. Collins. Research. This terminal is not recommended for research backups. Please use hard copies. Personal. Do you not read this? Yes, this means you, Dr. Collins. Initiating greetings, laboratory. I've been ordered by Dr. Collins to add an entry to this terminal. Dr. Collins was most insistent that this is my terminal. I explained several times the robotics cannot own property as per Robco policy, but this orders were most clear and insistent. I will comply with the Dr. Collins wishes and maintain a log when ordered to. Colleagues, I have completed my analysis and integration of the data to make my make me a capable research assistant. I have been commanded to provide an assessment of my colleagues. Dr. Flint is objectively brilliant, although Dr. Collins reportedly calls him brusque, but I find the Dr. Flint's commands and speech patterns easier to parse. His observations are always very astute, and I am learning much about working with cell cultures from him. Monsieur Borrow is perfectly acceptable to work with. He performs um, menial tasks with, uh, with, which my programming is perfectly suited for, such as carrying heavy lab equipment. This is a strange because my cap capabilities for such tasks are far beyond those of human male. I am told by Dr. Collins that this is a sign of respect that Missouri Burrow is making. This does not compute. Error in cash integer. Hmm, bunch of numbers. Distress. 233.9VD90VKA. 102K09134KJLCM91. Unusually agitated state he would not leave his quarters after some morning after his morning meal. Dr. Collins accuses me his state is temporary or assures me, sorry, accuses, assures, and that Mr. Burrow is merely overwhelmed with a with the statistic something having some errors here and more errors. Eulogy. Dr. Burrow is deceased. Postmortem indicates he's expired from severe cardiac arrest, brought on on advanced age. He died at 5.01 a.m. shortly after waking. In accordance with the doctor's per, uh, prerequisite orders, his body was cremated and placed in a specific... Oh, he was... Oh, he was cremated alongside Dr. Collins and Flint. Dr. Burrow's, Burrow was of great assistance in continuing the work left to us by the others. My last order was to continue working on our project alone so that our death will not be in vain. My processors are fully committed to furthering the study of pathogens and viruses for betterment of mankind to, to, on to honor this last request message end. Holland's archive boot up. We're hamstrung with only three researchers decided to take uh, to make a few modifications to this Mr. Handy robot should be really useful for speeding up some of our lab work. I've been pretty anxious since admittance, admittance day as the world ended wasn't uh, wasn't enough. As the world ending isn't is enough. I'm very concerned about Olivia motives. Dusting off some of my old robotic chops has been just a, just, um, just the distraction I've needed personality prof uh, profile. I decided to write a suite of custom personality settings for the robot. She's a little bit of a Lizzie or uh, sorry, a Liza. Bit of a Liza. I don't know what that means. A bit of a Liza. I really hope she got into the vault down in D.C. Oh, 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 I'm seeing this now. Okay. Liza is probably the wife or girlfriend 
of uh, Collins and a little bit of my grad school fling from Vercelli's Ver Vercelli's back in 46. I'm loading her data banks with every great body of work I have I have access to her to here. Kent, Einstein, Born, Darwin, Curie, uh, Faraday, Turning, and Braun. She'll have so much to learn. It's already made her feel so much more like a peer in the lab as opposed to an appliance. I'm calling her Curie. I know, I know. I was all I was never a subtle man. Therapeutic. Or what was that again? Yeah, therapeutics. Or therapeutic. Curie's been doing great. Flint's finally stopped treating me like a crazy person for insisting we address her as a human. I swear Burrow is differential to her in a way that reminds me of seeing him around Rebecca back during the drills. It's actually enduring to see. Most importantly, and perhaps more surprisingly, she brings a sense of uh, normalcy to the lab, keeping us all a bit more grounded. Everything to keep our mind off the situation we're in in uh we're in is all too welcome i've turned her personality matrix uh, or sorry i tuned her personality matrix a lot but it's beginning to feel wrong to manipulate her i'm going to leave her programming alone for now and just see how she evolves as she keeps learning more ongoing directive I haven't touched this terminal in years, not since I gave it to Curie as her own. Seeing her reaction to having something of her own was transformational. Uh, it just seems wrong to violate that. And so it's not truly been her uh, her eyes only ever since. This, finally, this final entry is an ex exception, and I suppose it's being written out of habit as a man used to, uh, used to a lifetime of recording his experiments, we lost Flint today, and Burrow has to spend more time helping me around the lab than actually performing research these days. So, if only to report my findings, Curie has been a remarkable success. She transcended my expectations of robotic programming. Her personality feels as genuine as my own. Her interest in scientific research is insatiable, and seeing her struggle with concepts like morality has been completely moving. Truly, it is my greatest work. I only hope that one day we can see more of the world. If only I could be here to witness her reaction to the blue skies and butterflies she only heard me sing about. Wow. It is stimulating traveling with you. Wow. Um, okay. Oh, that's pretty it's pretty dark. I mean, so there is oh, Mentats. So they were taking Mentats to kind of keep their some more research. Keep their game high. Uh, I don't see the urn, though. I didn't pick it up by accident, did I? Oh, 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 it is the empty teal barrel vase. So it, it's a vase. I see. So we've got an issue. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to cure ourselves, which is unfortunate. Oh, we can't run anymore. Um, is there anything else that we can drop for the time being? Uh, aid. How much are we off? By like one? What if we have what how much is water? I think water's what half? Let's just drink two. Okay, let's hop in the elevator. I wonder where this is gonna take us. Oh, here he's with us. Do you require something? No, no, we're just sitting on the elevator. Is this like the main part of the vault? Remote door control? 
Whoa. A moment. Here's available to be your companion. Could you perhaps ask Miss Telepuente to start asking? That's well, but it's starting to give me a complex. All right, hold on. We'll go to Cedric here in a second, but I want to find Curie. She just like ran off. We can turn off the flashlight now that we are in the main vault area. Oh, she's got a little kitty backpack as well. Well, it's not a backpack. It's like a. All right, where where did Curie go? Maybe the overseer. Yeah. Oh, here. Calvin. Hey there. You got some tools for me today. Yeah, that will definitely yeah, here you drop go. some weight. Perfect. Keep an eye out. We can always use more. Just 15 caps? That's it? I'll just blow past them and... <laughs> no, Curie's not in here. Where did she go? Did she? Damn it! She's just holding it again. Where did she go? <laughs> She's just like goodbye. See, I need more. Seeds. I should have followed her. All right, maybe downstairs. Did she go try to find? Oh, here, 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 here. Something, madame. No. Let's trade. Okay, let's trade. Let but of course. Does she have anything? No, she doesn't have anything on her. You found it. How's Austin doing? How is Austin doing? Do you think he'll survive the cure? He's been unconscious since shortly after you left. Hmm. Let him die. I'm keeping it. <laughs> Give him half, and I'll take the other half. I don't know if that will work, but we can try. Give him half, and I'll take the other half. It doesn't work that way. Half a dose won't cure him. Ooh. Stop being selfish and just give me the serum. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Here you go. Here. Take the cure and use it on the boy. Only one dose? I hope this works. If it doesn't, there won't be anything to analyze to try again. Let's hope this works. I heard you had returned. I have been trapped so many years. I believe it's customary to thank you for your role in saving me. My entire life has been in this vault. I have analyzed and learned everything there is to know here. So now I must see the rest of the Commonwealth, consult with scientists, unearth more data to challenge my hypothesis. You're in the clinic. All right, there's so much going on here. Our visitor from the Commonwealth saved your life. Really? She. Thanks, ma'am. I was worried to death about you, Austin. What got into your fool head? Going into a place like that. Nothing exciting ever happens here. I just wanted to see what was in there. Well, if it hadn't been for a friend here, you might have died. Thank you. I know you made sacrifices to help him. I know Dr. Pinsky will be grateful. For my part, I'd like to give you the surrender. I had it for years and never really had a use for it. She's not the only one. Mm. The whole vault is thankful. I'd like to give you a room here in the vault. Whoa. A place you can call your own. It's in the main hall. On the left, as you get off the elevator. Once again, thank you. Can I go see Grin? How about something to eat? I'm starving. Well then, I guess we are, for now, forever... ...diseased. In the wall completed. I fear you may need a reboot. Your job is to stay here? Um... Hmm. After the bombs, Commonwealth is a little lacking in the scientific department. Now let's ask her what she's looking to learn. What are you looking to learn up there? Down here is an enclosed system, and without the introduction of new mutagens, viruses, or bacteria, it is quite dull, medically speaking. The world up there is infinitely more complex. Who knows what diseases can be found and studied? After the bombs, 
The Commonwealth is a little lacking in the science department. But surely there is still men of learning out there, and if nothing else, there is data. Please, madame, can you take me with you? Hmm. Um. It's no picnic hmm. up there. I'm not sure if I'll do that Anything or not. Anything you can do to help us survive? But of course. I have been equipped with medical equipment. If you become injured in our journeys, I can administer steam packs. I also have defensive capabilities, a laser, but surely there's little reason to use that. Yeah. Um, maybe later. Maybe later? Well, perhaps for now, I will help out here. But if you change your mind, please, you must find me. All right, so now she's available for a uh, companion. Let's go ahead and talk to the doctor. Excuse me, Dr. Forsyth. Forsyth this, here. You'd think Bobby DeLuca would have reached out for help by now. That boy is useless. Are you not going to help me? <laughs> I'm curious as to what Voltech was studying beyond our walls. He's not going to heal me. He's not going to heal me. Can I just like grab everything I want now? I think so. Yeah, so everything here is going to be accessible to me now. Excuse me, Rachel. Anything I can do for you? Medically speaking, of course. Oh, yeah. Uh, cure me. Yeah. Take a look at me, Doc. What's feeling off today? What Everything. can you Everything. Too much radiation. I feel sick. All right. Let's flush your system. We'll uh, have her heal us as well. All done. Any other complaints? I'm pretty beat up. Scrapes and bruises. But it's probably a good idea to get them fixed up. Just another 40 caps. All done. Any oh, 15. Other complaints? That's not bad. No other complaints. Off you go then. All right. Uh, we are. Ooh, is that a magazine? That's a magazine. South, South Sea Stories. Yes. Partnership perk level up? Partnership perk? What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. All right, so we're still... Yep. We'll forever have the mole rat disease. Unless that goes away. Um, or maybe there's a mod that we have installed that allows us to... Hear this? Is that the overseer? Hold on. No, resident. Let's go find our, our... Let's go take a look at our, our place here. She said by the elevator. Poor Aaron. Her cat got loose. Oh, here's the cat. Oh, or here's the... Let's, uh, let's tell our story. <laughs> Might as well, since when we're here. When your numbers get over 10, you carry the extra to the next column. Hello, Katie. Would you like to tell the students one of your stories now? Yes, yes, yes. I'd be Let's glad to. Wonderful. The kids are so excited. Children, children, listen up. We have a guest today who is going to tell us stories about the Commonwealth. Did you ever fight a death claw? That's an interesting point of view. Um... How do you know about death claws? I hear stuff. Gran heard something about them from a Commonwealth guy. <laughs> Good camera angle. One of the Minutemen helped me kill one once. Cool. What happened? Hmm. Let's see here. A group of raiders had my friend Preston trapped. But you rescued him, right? Another great camera angle. Preston showed me where to find some power armor I could fix. Power armor! Wow. I wasn't ready when the death card cl uh, clawed out? Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't we'll keep it a little when PG the for the kids. Crawled out. Good thing I had that power armor. That sounds scary. Preston and I kept shooting until it was dead. I bet that took lots of bullets. Thank you so much for that story. Children, say thank you. No, th no thank you. 
<laughs> they didn't like it. Oh well. Um, kids? Kids? Game? Oh boy. There we go. Um... Uh oh What's going on? Why did we not finish? Let me eat something here. Properly fed. And she won't talk to me anymore. Oh boy. I think we just broke it. Um, maybe it did finish. Okay. We'll be done. Uh, I don't know if there's any in, any additional dialogue. Maybe that was Thank all. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it just took a while. You've elected the issue of Grognik the Barrier. Barbarian. That's cool. Well, I guess that's all we're going to hear today. Sweet. Okay. For some reason, it was just a little... Another lamp. Wacky. Aaron told me how you saved Austin's life. I guess you're not bad for an outsider. Hey. Um, so elevator. Need to check the water pumps again. The water smells funny. To the left? Didn't she say to the left of the elevator? Or is it upstairs? Oh, no. Oh, that. We got a little bobblehead stand. Place to sleep. Place to store stuff? Oh, this is really cool. Uh, we're actually fatigued. Uh, let's go ahead and sleep for 17 hours. Oh, we haven't slept in a long time. Uh, let's go ahead and... I wonder if we can use this desk to just, like, drop some things off. Some things that we don't really need, like... Actually, the syringe rifle we don't need. The nuka grenade. How much? Oh, 431 damage. We're 15 over. 15 over. Uh, We probably have a lot of... Oh, we actually want to keep that. Beer we don't need. Vodka we don't need. I don't know how I picked that up. I guess we can just leave the ammo here for right now. Still doesn't matter. Oh, we'll keep the plasma. Gamma, they can go there. Shotguns can go there. Or nine short. Yeah, I guess we'll get rid of the milk. Seven. Seven, seven, seven. The more at meat is going to be the biggest. Free, free health. Um, here, let's drop a bunch of stems. We don't need those. Radix, we don't need a whole ton of those. Addict dolls. We are. I don't think we're going to get ever addicted. Stealth boy, we don't use. Okay, we're, we're good now. Alright, we got our own little place. We need to go talk to... He's going to give us one last quest. We do need to look for the cat as well. Don't know where the cat ran off to, but we'll have to go find the cat. And then we'll kind of finish off... Um, which then we'll finish off, you know, Vault... 81. I think we got one more to do. Because I think he's going to give us a quest. I think. Excuse me. I've been hearing good things about you. Old Rusty is running at peak efficiency and the vault's water problems have been solved. I didn't expect such confidence from a wastelander. I must say I'm pleasantly surprised. Really? What were you expecting? Honestly, I was unsure. But I had hoped you'd prove yourself capable. And you have. Now that you've demonstrated your ability to get a job done, I feel I can entrust you with something more important. If you complete this last task, I'll be happy to reward you with a Vitamatic. Okay. 
How do I know you'll honor our agreement? It's more advantageous for the Vault to remain on good terms with outsiders such as yourself. Reliable individuals are worth their weight in caps. Just tell me what you need done. Ever since we opened the Vault, our safety has been of chief concern. We routinely send out security patrols. But recently, one such patrol has yet to report in. Uh -oh. She's not yet overdue, but still, I'm concerned. A mercenary crew resides in the area she was sent to scout, and they've caused trouble for us before. What I'd ask is that you find our wayward patrol and bring her safely back to the vault. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we should pry a little bit more. Why are you so worried about her? Because the individual sent on this hey. patrol is my sister. Uh, don't get me oh. wrong, she's more than capable of fending for herself, but as an older brother, I worry. 100%. Totally, totally understand, bud. Do you know where I can find her? Yes. Her patrol route was between here and Forest Grove Marsh, so she's most likely still there. But with the mercenaries recently claiming that area, she may be in trouble. Hopefully I'm just worrying over nothing. But if you decide to do this, I'd advise caution. Alright, we can do that. Is there anything else I should know? Forest Grove Marsh seems to be a magnet for what Wastelanders call... Feral... Ghouls? So if you have some kind of feral repellent, be ready to use it. Uh, yeah, it's called bullets. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll find her. No, good! Once you've found our missing patrol, report back to me and the Vitamatic is yours. Good luck! Alright, search for the lost patrol. Now, is everything in this building? It is. So we can come in here and basically grab everything we need. So if we need any kind of resources, this would be a good place to do it. Are we properly hydrated? Carrie's going to stay here. We can come back and grab her at any given time. We haven't talked to... Uh, oh, Neil. We haven't talked to a few people in here. You're getting to be a regular. Oh, you're just a resident. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode here. There's a few things that I want to do. We haven't talked to the overseer. Uh, it looks like Neil over here. We want to talk to it's kind of a named character. Um, Miranda here. There's another named character. So before we venture forward and look for anything else, I think we're going to just kind of pause here for a moment. When I come back in the next episode, we will talk with these people and then we'll head back out. Maybe try to find the cat and do this other quest for... Um, so we can get the Vitamatic, uh, which is uh, kind of a next step in terms of the Sim Settlement quest line. So uh, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. I'm trying to hit about 50 likes per video. If we can get, we can uh, smash that that goal. That would be greatly appreciated. Just so um, just hit that like button if you couldn't, um, if you could, I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, also don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification. If you're new and you like the content, uh, and you want to be notified when the next video comes out, I try to do daily videos. Uh, not always the case when certain things pop up in real life. So, um, that's always why it's best to have notifications turned on so that you're notified when I do make a community post or, um, a new video comes out. Um, also, thank you to all my Patreon subscribers for supporting this channel. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, thank you for supporting me and allowing me to do these videos and make them better. Uh, in the last couple of videos, actually, I've been creating higher... Uh, uh, it doesn't really... I don't, I don't think you guys really maybe noticed too much, but uh, bitrate is up a lot from what I had before. I do have some more storage, which allows me to... Uh, upload larger videos now so which is which is really really cool uh so hopefully the quality is maybe noticeably bit better than what you saw before uh so thank you guys for supporting me if you want to help support me as well um you can check me out on patreon i do have some other options for support like uh amazon affiliate program uh, if you want to do some shopping and help support a small YouTuber like me, go ahead and um, use that link that I have down in the description below. Uh, my Patreon um, link down there as well. Uh, I do have some other things as well. Check those out if you want to help support the channel. I do have a way to tip uh, as well as I do have a Samsung affiliate uh, 
coupon, which uh, you'll save a little bit if you buy, if you do any shopping on Samsung. Uh, I think that's everything, guys. Have an amazing day, and we'll see you guys next time.